Okay, I have an update. I've got the uh, engine rebuilt and back in. Losing number four main bearing sucks, and probably part of that is going to Idaho to those steep 500 foot climbs in the uh, Idaho St. Anthony's Dunes. And my engine does not have a dry sump. Dry sump, in order to outfit this with a dry sump, it'll probably cost me about seven grand. Uh, don't have that kind of money right now, so. Uh, one thing I did notice is I just had the factory sump in this pan. And so what I'm doing is switching to an EGM 200 wet sump oil baffle. And as you can see, it's got the hinge doors. So as you roll, that door closes, keeping the uh, oil trapped in the baffle. And hopefully that will help the longevity of my next engine until I can afford a wet sump. This goes stock replacement, right like so. Put the bolts in, torque them down, done deal. We'll try it out and we'll see what happens.